Welcome back, my name is Alex and today's video is going to be a very exciting one because this whole bag is full of Shein makeup and I'm absolutely incredibly excited to try these things out because they honestly look amazing like I have wanted to do this video for such a long time because you know I'm always in Shein like unfortunately the website is very addicting and I was just scrolling through the makeup section like the beauty section or whatever and I was like and then I saw James Charles upload a video um all face using Shein makeup or something like that and I was like this bitch stole my idea <laughs> yeah but I was like I need to do it as well I'm going to try to do like my regular makeup routine with this so let's get straight into it so first of all i really want to talk about the packaging of these products because me personally i feel like they are absolutely amazing i feel like you know i'm opening like a bougie makeup like a bougie concealer or actually i think i should do my eyebrows first because as you can tell i don't have eyebrows much since i shaved them off uh, in my in my video where I had the uh, ginger wig and yeah I've been shaving them since then because I feel like it looks good on me when I you know do my whole makeup and stuff but yeah I think I'm going to do eyebrows first and look at the packaging for the for the eyebrow stuff it's like a two in one pencil I mean as a person who always uses Essence or Catrice or, you know, just like cheap makeup, maybe NYX, this is very, very bougie to me. So one tip has like a, how is it called? Like a marker tip, I guess. And I think the other tip was supposed to be, yeah, like a, like a regular pencil. You can like roll it up and down. So I think I want to use this one first to draw my, my hairs, I guess. Okay, so let's give it a go. I haven't used an eyebrow pencil in a very long time because I always use just like an eyeshadow <laughs> to do my eyebrows. But this is very, very pigmented and it's so easy to use. So I'm really impressed. So for the front part, I think I'm going to try to use the like marker tip. I never, I've never actually used uh, this type of pencil. So I'm really... I'm hoping for the best. Okay, so it does like very light hair-like strokes, if you can tell. I am extremely impressed. Wow. Oh, I just dropped it. Okay, so eyebrows are done and now it's time for concealer. Concealer was really hard for me, you know, to, to guess my actual color because they have so many shades that look the same. And this one, I think is definitely a little light for me. But, you know, better lighter than darker. And this one is in the shade Vanilla. And yeah, I know they had like very confusing names. James Charles mentioned in his video, because I already watched that video, uh, that this wand is actually for liquid lipstick. And it actually is for liquid lipstick. If you can tell, like the wand is just so thin, you know, you could do your lips with it. But I mean, let's give it a go. Oh, it's definitely light for me, but the consistency is not bad. I never use foundation. That's why I didn't bought foundation. I know like many of you would be probably interested in the foundation and I was thinking about it, but I was like, if I'm going to buy this foundation, I know it would go to waste. So I was like, I feel like I'm going to actually use these things I bought. So yeah, I'm sorry. I I've seen some pretty good ones and as I said, James Charles has this video already done and I believe that many other YouTubers have done it as well. So yeah, uh, by the way, all the brushes and the sponge are not from Shein. I know they have like billion gazillion brushes and sponges for you to try. But again, I already had my own brushes, so I was like, I'm just going to use my own ones. So the first impression of this concealer is that it blends out kind of weirdly. I don't know if you can tell, but I feel like it's kind of sheer. I don't know, maybe it's just me. But I usually don't use much concealer and I feel like it's not doing as much as I would want it to. <laughs> Recently, I started getting eczema which, you know, is another story. But I started getting eczema on my body and a little bit on my face. So I need to get that checked out because I think I'm allergic to something. It always happens at work and I work with animals and I don't know if I'm allergic to fur 
or if I'm allergic to feathers. I have no idea because I have my bunnies at home and nothing is happening at home. And I thought, you know, like I was allergic to hay or something, but I'm not sure. I'm still not sure what's happening. Next thing I have is a liquid, I guess liquid. Yeah, I think it's a liquid, um, con not concealer. Oh my God contour stick and this looks pretty much like the liquid blush stick i have i don't know if you have seen it in my other videos but i have this like liquid blush stick and it's amazing i love it i will i use it every day so i have no complaints about it and yeah this looks exactly like that this is in the shade warm honey i don't really use a uh, liquid contour sticks or anything liquid for you know contouring so a little bit scared of that so i'm just going to take i don't know, like like that much i guess isn't that is that too much okay so that's what i'm going to do and i hope it doesn't dry quickly because i'm going to be fucked if it does okay but it blends out pretty nicely like you can definitely work with that like how much you want it to be blended it's a little bit orange <laughs> but that's okay i mean it's definitely more like a bronzer i know they had like other shades but the other shades look like weird like they look looked kind of ashy i actually prefer warm toned bronzers i don't know i feel like it looks better on me i don't know why maybe because i have such like a pale complexion but look at it it's i feel like it's blending out beautifully okay i feel like it looks good so now for the blush i'm using this blush in the shade devoted and it's my everyday blush i love it you know a little goes a long way so yeah that's what I'm all about. I actually believe I put on too much, so I'm going to put a little on my nose. So, the next thing I have is a 3D Pro Face Palette. Pa palette? Palette? My accent just went up and down with this one. But the packaging... Like, it looks amazing. It's called Dune, and it's supposed to be a contour palette. Okay, it kind of reminds me of, like, Kylie's... Like, it really reminds me of Kylie's palette. Palette? Oh my god, I can't pronounce that. Uh, the one thing I have to say is, I don't know if you can tell, but every single one is shimmery except this one. So I guess this is more of a highlighter palette, but anyway. I'm going to contour my nose with uh, this one, this shade, you know, the only matte shade they have. I'm a little bit scared of it because I don't know if you can tell, but that's really dark. And they didn't have a lot of shades to choose from. Okay, but it's like not pigmented at all, which... I don't mind. I definitely feel like I can build this up. So give me a moment and I will tell you what I think about it. So I'm putting it on my eyes as I usually do when I contour my nose. Kind of create like a natural shape. Shade. Oh my god, I can't speak English today. I'm so sorry. But please stay with me. I, I'm going to I'm going to talk through this. I'm going to save uh, the highlighters for later. And now it's time for setting powder. And don't get me wrong, I'm a little bit skeptical about this. I don't know. I got the like translucent shade. If you know translucent shades, they... Uh, tend to not look the best uh, but i mean laura mercier who like this literally looks like the packaging oh it's <laughs> it's like the little you know well i'm not going to use that i'm sorry how am i so i'm am i supposed to like pour it into this or is it closed um what am i doing wrong can someone tell me what i'm doing wrong like the powder doesn't come out am i missing something oh i think there's a sticker okay hold on oh my god it's a sticker i'm so dumb like but like can you see the sticker no you cannot i mean yeah i just i just started it but i don't know how much am i supposed to use i will use my regular um brush Oh, it's actually from Shein. I use it like to reverse contour. Okay, so it definitely leaves like a white cast. I mean, it kind of set like all of the concealer into place. Okay, so the next thing I have, I was really, really, really excited about it. It's a Freck Please Freckle Tint. If you know me, you know that I do freckles every day, all day. I just need to have freckles on my face. I'm obsessed, unfortunately. And this is supposed to be like the one, you know, you kind of like press and then you... It kind of like multiplies. Look at the packaging. I mean, y'all. Is it bad that I feel fancy using Shein makeup? I think it's bad, huh? I'm just like supposed to do like a 
few of them and oh okay okay let me let me just get creative with this okay so i definitely went a little overboard with it but i'm not mad i absolutely love this product and if i ran out of this i would definitely purchase it again okay so one thing i purchased uh I, it wasn't intentional i just saw it and i was like oh my god so it's a shadow glitter wizard invisible jelly it looks like this the packaging again amazing and I don't know if you have seen like TikToks of uh, like about this, but it was not from Shein, it was from like a different website. It's supposed to be like a an eyeshadow jelly kind of and it's supposed to like change color, you know? Oh my goodness, it looks so good. But where am I going to, you know, where am I going to put it? Like on my eyelids? I was thinking maybe the face, you know, and have like a little euphoria moment. Oh my God, it's literally closed and I'm like, what the fuck, okay? Ooh, okay, I'm not an eyeshadow person but this i want to use it as highlighter i'm sorry let me have my moment okay i want to use it kind of everywhere y'all this is so pretty i want to use it like everywhere <laughs> do you see that uh, what and it's like gone what the fuck this is so exciting okay i'm just going to bath in this this is crazy to me like i'm getting overboard with it i need to close it <laughs> Can you tell that I'm speechless? I recommend this like 10 out of 10. If you like this type of makeup, you know, like a little euphoria moment, purchase this. Okay, next thing I have is liquid. It's a waterproof liquid eyeliner. I'm a little bit skeptical about it oh, because I haven't done like eyeliner in a very long time. And oh, okay, let me, let me just have a moment. I want to do this on camera. I'm so sorry, but I literally cannot concentrate surprisingly it wasn't as hard as i thought it would be i even did like my little in the corner cat eye wink or what is it called okay so the next thing i can't wait to try is a lip liner it's in the shade neutral and yeah let's do our lips with it shall we packaging again amazing love it it's that type of lip liner that you have to kind of like roll up or or roll down okay so this actually might be my new favorite lip liner look at my lips like they lit it does it literally looks like the sheet of my lips like i guess that's why it's called neutral but i wasn't expecting this i am in love okay so the next thing is going to be highlighter and i don't know like this shade like it doesn't look as glittery glittery <laughs> The fuck? <laughs> this shade doesn't look as glittery as these two and i'm definitely more of a like wet type of look than like a glittery type of look as i say it with like glitter on my fucking face so i'm just going to take like my little brush and i'm going to... it's it's like a <laughs> it's like a cream highlight i'm so confused okay let's see okay that did absolutely nothing let's add more Okay, I'm going to try this one. Oh, okay. This one is definitely pretty. I'm going to use this one. Mascara. I am scared of this because, I don't know, I don't want to be like judgmental, but putting something from Shein into my eye doesn't sound like the most appealing thing to me. This is the Mega Lash Waterproof. It's waterproof. Oh my god. A Mega Lash Waterproof Curling Mascara. I'm just going to give it a go and yeah. Okay, so this is one cold. I actually love it. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm like going to have like a pink eye tomorrow. This is exactly the type of mascara I want to use because like it doesn't clump together my eyelashes and it separa separates it wonderfully i don't use mascara on my bottom lashes like 99 percent of the time like i do it sometimes and then i regret it i'm scared <laughs> so the last two things i have are lashes and uh, eyelash glue liner and i am that type of bitch who can't use like glue on the eyelash like i have to put the glue on my eye and then put uh, the eyelash eyelashes on look at the packaging i just took it out impressed i'm extremely impressed so the thing i wanted to say is that i can't use like eyelash glue like normally like on the eyelash first I, like i have to put it on my eyelids and when i saw this on the website i was like like i need to get it so it's basically like an eyeliner but it's actually glue order these lashes and i don't know if you know me but i <laughs> 
I can't pull off like long eyelashes like this. Like I feel like they don't look good on me. And these motherfuckers are long. So pray for me, okay? So I'm going to use the the glue. Oh, I just had it upside down. So it looks like this. Oof, I'm stressed. Okay, give me a, give me a moment, okay? Okay, so I just put on the glue, and this is the best invention someone has ever come up with. Okay, I don't want to be like too quick to judge, but this was the easiest thing I had to do. And now we just wait till it gets like tacky, and I'm going to put on these bad boys. Okay, y'all, these are the eyelashes, and. I'm definitely not used to these type of eyelashes because as I said, like they look a lot more natural on the website. But yeah, I just had like a full blown glam with she in makeup. Okay, y'all, this was the video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. I feel like this, these type of videos are very interesting to watch, at least for me. I feel like the eyelashes are growing on me, even though the, I still feel a little bit weird with them, but I can't get over the freaking glitter. After this video, I will be filming some TikToks with this little makeup look, so be sure to follow me on there and my Instagram account. And don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe and boost this video as much as you can because it means the world to me. I see you next time in another video. Bye!